Hello everybody, hope you're well. We're out in the camper van and if you haven't guessed by the intro we're to look at this new Apex 300 from Bluetti and this is something completely different and if you recall not so long back we did a review of the Apex 200 and I said that was probably one of the best if not the best power station you could use for a camper van power system. The only problem with it is it didn't have a large output on the DC to run the DC side, which was a bit of a disappointment. Well, this one is a bigger unit and has no DC as standard fitted to this unit. So there's no 12 volt system linked to this, to this unit. So you can't use this to run a 12 volt system. Well, that's not completely true. You can if you add this part. This here plugs into the expansion socket and just doesn't give 12 volts. This gives out 12 volts at 50 amps. So what I think Bluetti are doing is they're making really efficient, quality, battery powered units with good inverters, but the additional parts like this for the DC are separate. So it brings the cost of the initial unit down and if you want DC on it, so some people would just buy this to have it as a backup in the house and it's absolutely fine as a backup in the house, brilliant piece of kit and it's massively expandable. Uh, we'll take it back to the cottage in a bit and I'll show you linking it into our off-grid setup and I'll put a slide in there of how, how many batteries you can add to this. You can basically run your full house off this and there's a consumer unit that fits into your house as well linked to this unit. So some people would just buy it for off-grid um, AC power but if you want to use it in a camper van you do have the opportunity to buy this separately to plug it into here and this will give you more power on a DC than you'll ever need. Now what you do with this on the top of here is an Anderson connector and you get this plug with it and you basically, if I get it the right round here, plug that into there to your fuse box or if you already have a system in your van or your motorhome or even your boat and you want a 12 volt link you go to your existing fuse box system and you connect an appropriate size cable for your system into this connector and that enables you to get 12 volts at 50 amps out of the expansion socket on this. This has also got a new battery in it as well so it's the LIFO 4 Pro battery but this is the automotive grade quality one so we usually talk about life cycles and you've heard it a thousand times if you to charge this and discharge it and charge it and discharge it you could do that for 10 years before it went to 80 percent well these new batteries um, in this one and the 200 elite you can do that for 17 years so the battery power in this and the capability and the longevity of this is significantly increased so they've made it cheaper they've made it more adaptable and then made the quality better. I think this is going to be a game changer and I don't know what's coming out next from Bluetti but if they're going through this elite range I think we're going to see some amazing pieces of kit. This one is incredible and will do perfectly in my camper van. Currently in back of my van I'll show you now. In back of my camper van in the garage you've probably seen this before I have a Bluetti AC200 Max which has been absolutely amazing. I've had it linked to two other batteries, but currently it's linked to a, 300, a B300K. And that system linked to the Charger 1 is just absolutely fantastic. Does everything I need and works really well. And that Bluetti 200 Max, AC 200 Max, has been in there for about three years. And it's been on all the time, faultless. I've done one software update, probably needs another one. But it's worked just remarkably well. And that Bluetti Charger 1 system is absolutely incredible. That will pump out 800 watts into that, no problem, and charge it quickly. And then when it's charged, that will charge that up as well. But that Charger 1 has been the game changer because I don't have to rely on solar. I drive for a few miles and it starts to pump out 800 watts and charges this up with no problem. Now that system in there has been perfect, absolutely perfect, and it's been in there for about three years, 
and does everything I need it to do. I use all electric cooking gear in here, including electric pizza ovens, toasters, kettles, sandwich maker, grill, hot pot, even electric radiator. And that charger one linked to that system in back of the van is absolutely amazing. I don't really bother about the solar on the roof because my roof's generally got canoes and kayaks on. It's 300 watts of solar on there, which is fine. It does a bit of topping up of my leisure battery. And I've set the charger one in this. I'll put some cards up here for my previous videos about this. I've set the charger one system to run off the van battery when the van's running. And you can put it through a transfer box like I've done to run off a lithium battery, my, le my leisure lit lithium battery. So that will also take 800 watts out of the lithium battery to charge up the current system I've got in there and that will all work exactly the same with this but this will take more solar it's a bigger capacity so I think reluctantly because there's nothing wrong with that AC 200 max I think I'm going to be taking that out and maybe fitting this and because they now charge so quickly off the alternator charger the charger one system I might not even need the expansion battery but what I might do is fit this in, I still at 100%, I might fit this in, take the AC200 out, not put the expansion battery in and see how I get on. Because if it makes it lighter and gives me room, more room, even better. And I think that's what they're aiming at with these new units. This is actually heavier than the AC200 Max, but it's lighter than the AC200 Max and the 300 uh, backup battery I've got with it as well. So there's a lot going on with this. Again, a fantastic system for home backup. You can expand this to a ridiculous amount. I'll put a slide in now and it'll show Bluetti's rig for setting this up as a power supplier for your house. It's incredible. They really are pushing the boat out with these. But mine's a standard system. Again, if you haven't seen it, I know a lot of you have, but some people do click on this who haven't seen it. We have a transfer box from down here. So the mains power comes in, goes through the meter, goes through this. There's a separate line that we can put an auxiliary in and then goes through to the main consumer board in the house. And we've currently got running the TV, the internet and an electric Arga, which is probably taking about 2000 watts and the fridges may click on and off. So it's a real good test is this for any power system to see how good the inverter is. Because the, if the inverter is a bit iffy, which I know this isn't, it would flick off the power switches to the consumer unit in the house. So we'll switch this on. We'll put the AC on. There it's on. We'll turn the power off. So that's the power off to the house. There's no power to the house now. And then we'll switch over to generator. So this is picking this up now. No, none of the fuses have gone off up there. Everything stayed on as I expected it would. And this is ranking up the power now. I'm running everything in the cottage. Sorry if it sounds very windy, but it is very windy out there. So that's the DC hub that's on there. It comes with this cable attached to it. It goes into the expansion socket. You lock it in place. You go into the app on the phone or you can do it with the buttons on the screen and you switch the AC on and then it gives you this. So we've got 12 volts, 10 amp cigarette socket or you can have this either 12 volts or 24 volts and that's switchable in the app. The, them two are the same. This one is a USB-C 100 watts. There's two of them in there and then there's two standard ones in there. And then this is the connector on the top here, which is the big Anderson lead fits in and that will give you either 12 volts at 50 amps or 24 volts at 25 amps and that's switchable as I say so you can have it as a 12 volt system or you can have it a 24 volt system and those are the barrel connectors that you get on lots of power supplies I think they tend to use those more in America for like um, LED lights and things and it comes with a clip that fits onto the handle this runs off the Blue Etty app and it has a new display as well. Look at all those features on there. <laughs> um, 
and it has this magic button and this is programmable if you look at any videos from america this switches through different voltages from 240 to 120 but in the uk model and the european model you can actually go into the app and program this so i've programmed this to switch on the power lifting but you can use it as a child lock um I can't remember all the different settings. We'll have a look when we go into the app. But there's various ones you can just program that switch to work. So there's the eco button. And that's the AC button, which switches all these sockets on here, four sockets. And there's the capacity of that. It tells you how much power is going and how much power is going out and how long it will run various things for. So this is currently just running my laptop. Uh, it's currently 100%. I'm not drawing a lot of wattage out of there, but it'll run for 1.6 days running that. Over this side, this switch is silent, auto and turbo. And um, I'll show you now back at the cottage how this works and the differences with those settings. There's three charging settings on here, just with one button. Silent, 502, three from the AC automatic that boosts it up to 1440 odd and then turbo bungs in 2400 2440 it changes the time and gives you an indication how long it will charge take to charge Obviously, if you have it on the silent, it takes the minimum amount of power in. It takes significantly longer to charge, but it's quiet because it turns the fan off. On this side, you have a panel here, which is the vent and a screw. And this unclips and you can actually wash this and clean this. So if you're taking it to the beach or somewhere it's dusty, you can actually clean this yourself. This is the DC and solar input. So if you want to put the maximum solar into this, you can buy a separate device which fits into this but the good thing about this for the standard solar it's just a connector like that and then the top one or either of those can be used for your charger one so this system you can put your charger one system in and you can put your solar in there but if you want to have more than the standard solar you can buy another unit like the dc unit which makes the capacity of this much bigger and then that's the expansion but port which links to the have a DC charger or your expandable battery. And if you have an expandable battery and you want to use your DC charger, you connect the battery to this and the, the um, expandable battery will have another socket on it and you put your DC unit to that. On this side here, you have a charging port there, which you can charge from electric car charging unit, fast charge. Um, there's your AC and it's just a lead, obviously no charging brick. This here is an earthen lead and it comes with a screw and you can put a cable into that and a spike into the ground. And there's a circuit protector as well, so if it clicks off for whatever reason, you repress that button. And this side has fans on and you can take that out again with a screw and clean those vents if need be. Nothing on the back, nothing on the top apart from two handles. Quick look at the app. It's a standard app for all Bluetti items, how much power you've got, what's going out, AC and DC, what's going in. You can switch it on and off, you can switch your AC on, or if you have the uh, DC hub unit in, you can switch that on as well. How much time remaining, once you're actually using it and putting some power out of it. PV is solar panels, and I would imagine that might well tell you how much power you've had also from your um, Charger 1 system. But if you go into the advanced settings, you can switch everything off here, how long your screen time is, time is. that's the magic button. And on there, there's all different settings, which you can add to that switch on there to switch on and off. There also is a sequence on here where you touch these two buttons and it goes into the memory. And you can do just about everything off the app, actually on the screen, which is quite good. Not seen that before. I just wanted to say as well, oh, this here is my first Bluetti unit and it's before they actually called them Bluetti in the UK, it was called Power Oak. Bluetti in America and Power Oak in the UK. And this thing 
I think it's about seven years old now and still gets used. It gets used a lot. It's one of those ones that I take into the garden if I'm using my laptop. But uh, just goes to show, even when technology was at this level and it's moved on so much as you've seen with this, still quality products and I've always enjoyed working with Blue Etty and found them to be fantastic. Well that just leaves me to say, oh, thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one. Check the description below for all the information, links to the website. There is a, the Bluetti has asked me to get this video out as soon as possible. This was only delivered today, so I've already had a quick play with it. Um, and I will consider fitting it in the van. Keep watching for future videos to see what I do. Offers on these at the moment for uh, early purchases and you can save yourself a lot of money on this and they're doing deals where you, you can get this and this uh, on an offer as well. So check below and uh, we'll see you on the next one. I suppose better take these out. Do you want to go out? Do you want to go out? Are you enjoying the nice sun? It's windy out there, isn't it? <laughs> see you soon.